Hey guys, on this episode of the Asking Us show, I discuss how you as the client can receive more transparent work from your SEO agency. Boom. Hey guys, welcome to this episode and let me uh, first and foremost say that this is an attack on the SEO industry, okay? It's not an attack. I don't want to come across as though I am attacking companies that are reporting this way. I just believe and many people in the agency, in, in, in the agency world also believe that there, there, there can be a better job on providing clients with more meaningful um and transparent work. So what we, let me first tell you what we do. So for us, our clients receive a document by the end of the month explaining the work that we have done, why we have done it, uh, recommendations on uh, how they can improve um, and give them specific tasks to do that would reach their goals. And of course, any work for their developers. Because a a lot of our clients, pretty much all of them now actually, have a developer. All of them now have a developer. So we like to build out a, a section for the developers to do, uh, work for clients to do, work that we have done, and also, if we can at times, uh, forecast the next two or three months, as well as ranking report history, detail in Google, Google Mobile, and Bing. So this video doesn't need to be over too sort of uh, uh, too long in, in how we talk about it. So that's exactly what we do. So I'm going to keep cross referencing that as I go along in the video. So we've we've seen and and this agency now is actually gone out of business because they the client uh, moved over to our uh, agency back in 2015 from this from from this provider and from this provider and even though like these guys have like gone out of business I'm not going to mention it. I'm not going to it doesn't need to be said. But what actually happened was all of the reporting was just basically um, traffic update and ranking update. That's it. And actually, I don't even... Yeah, 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 it was, it was. (laughs) It was. So it was traffic and it was ranking updates. And, you know, that doesn't actually tell the client a whole lot. See, a big part of what we do is we like to actually educate our clients so it's not just a matter of well let's just you know give you this report every month we're finished for the month that's it is done um but educating clients and see the thing is for us now our youngest clients been with us for three years so it's a constant constant education process with very new clients we actually find that there needs to be a certain amount of time every month just educating clients. So when we send them the report of the work that we've done, we we try to go through with, try to go through with them exactly what work we have done, whether that's monthly or quarterly, and you know benchmark it against the goals. So how how is the work that we're doing going to reach the goals, or at least we we're, we're aiming to reach the goals? Um, I think that education in, in, in this video is the takeaway. I want everyone to take away the education is the most important part of this entire video because education will guarantee transparency as clients start to learn more and more about SEO from what we explain to them, they can actually take that away and say, oh, okay, you know, we understand now why it's so important. For us, one of the biggest, the reason why we like to do as much detailed reporting as we can, ensuring the client wants to read it, of course, and and you can use analytics reports and all the rest of it, is because we want them to get involved. We want them to get excited. No one kind of gets too involved or too excited when they don't really understand what needs to happen. And initially, when we work with a client that's never done SEO before, they know it's important, but they've they've never done it, you know, you do have to spend that time with them. And, and more time than perhaps clients now five, six, seven years down the line. For example, 
our oldest client, we're not chatting about why building content is important, why we're recommending this particular uh, strategy now, why we want to do this and why we want to do that. When um, he, that he gets it, but when about a year or so ago, um, we started getting more, more than a year ago, maybe like two years ago, we're getting very heavily involved with everything that we did was UX based, right? So we wanted to make sure that not only did we create a great uh, uh, experience in terms of getting results for SEO and our clients to come and find the content useful, but to add additional functionality to the site in order to make people want to spend longer on the site, make people want to search a site and, and, and actually browse through more pages because pages per session is actually a positive ranking signal. I've always thought about this before. I thought about it, that it's going to become an algorithmic change because what is smart for SEO is smart for business. And so it makes sense for people to come to the site to browse more pages, to lower the bounce rate. And so when we would start doing this work, even a client that's been with us at that time, five or six years, um, it was important for me to actually say, you know what, we, we need to start doing this. We need to start focusing on this area. This is, this is, this is what makes sense right now. And the clients always, this particular client that's been with us for a very long time is very numbers driven. So we've always had to be, you know, everything needed to have a reason for it. Even though he gets it and understands it, but he will ask questions all the time. What does this mean against reaching goals? What does this mean uh, for us to, to, to grow as a business? And so even though he doesn't question us every, on, on everything anymore, um, because really, we've, 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 we've had so many conversations, but even now, even after all these years, a monthly to quarterly meeting is always required um, because things change, the, like everything's changed, the algorithms change. But if you're a client that hasn't been working with an agency for seven years, then this is even more important, right? Like if you're working with a client, or, sorry, if you're working with an agency for only like one to two years, or let's just say less than one year, the more reporting you can get, the better. And not just the reporting, but why is this getting done? Why did you build those links? Why did you uh, you know, change the titles and the descriptions here? Why did you do this and why did you do that? Benchmarking it against you, the goals that you've set with that agency. Now, you know, a lot of our clients in the past weren't really when we first started uh, doing SEO. Um, some of them that decided to say, you know what, we're going to move on now. We want to do it ourselves. Fantastic. Oh, we, we love that too, you know, <laughs> like we don't mind. Six months in, they feel like they can do it. We've educated them that much. Like, good luck to you. Who are we to stop you? They couldn't, but at the same time, they wanted like, we would do a lot of like monthly calls explaining the work that we did, but they didn't want a whole lot of reporting. They just wanted to go through with us. What do we do? What did you do this month? They just like, like verbally wanted to know what we were doing. Um, and you know, what did that do in the business? I remember working with this particular client um, and they were very keen on just, what are you doing like over the phone? Why is this important? What can we do to help you? And every month, that was it. We still sent them a PDF, but it wasn't that detail. They didn't want, it. They didn't want the detail. They preferred that that particular time, we, we will give them still the work that we've done. That's always been a standard. Um, but some clients also demand more than others. Some clients want to look at more. Some clients prefer to, to give you the, the, for you to put it down in a, in a PDF and chat with them about it. Some of them just be like, be as detailed as you can, we'll look over it, we'll get back to you at this time. So, it, you know, it, it's never a one model fits all. Like based on the fact that I work with so many clients, I know that one model doesn't fit all. But you know what all clients can appreciate, even if they don't look at it, is the fact that you went detailed, okay, as an SEO agency, that you're detailed. So this video is for the, um, the agencies as well as the clients. But I, I always target this directly to clients because I, I really want them to get the fact that they need to be educated. That's the key thing, education through what they're getting delivered each month and for their SEO agency, the SEO professional to, to sit with them and discuss with them, whether it's phone, Skype, face-to-face, -face, coffee, nightclub, whatever you're into, right? Just and discussing with them exactly why is this important and why you're doing it and how does it get benchmarked against the results.
Another uh, key component that I like to do at, at times, especially after like two, uh, a year or two and the goals are kind of settling in at that point, is forecasting the next set of goals, like where we're going from here. Or once the goals are met, here's where we're going. You can even forecast your work um, you know, every three months and if you want to detail that to the clients, some of some of our like some of our clients will do that. Some that we believe that if it's very if the market is very volatile, we might just give like a general outline. This is what we're doing, but it's 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 hard in some cases. But if you can forecast with certain clients, I think forecasting um, will build that trust with your clients. And from a client perspective, you get to know exactly what's happening and what's the plan. Um, you know. The problem is with SEO lately is that it's it's seen as this mysterious, well, it's actually always been seen as this mysterious thing, you know, and, and um, you know, because there's never been a whole lot of transparency. And one of the, one of the uh, um, factors that I put down in one of the articles I created on, you can check it out on amigadigital.com.au, go, go to the blog, is three mistakes clients can make when choosing an SEO agency, and one, they, they don't understand the transparency factor. They choose a, they, they will work with someone that's on price, which is the, the number one thing that I, that I put up there. But we have found delegation of work seems to be the one that really, clients don't work with us lately because we delegate work to them. That's, the, that's just some of the clients that we've spoken to. And that's unfortunate. But transparency is, is an absolute major component if you decide to work with, a, with an agency. You need to know how, can you give me an example of the work and the reporting that you're going to do each month? Um, what are you gonna provide us with? Now, if you're just getting a ranking report, what does that mean? If you just get a ranking report? Because Think about it from logically. If you're just getting a ranking report, what does that ranking report actually telling you? How many people that come to the site? No. Is is the search volume fluc fluctuating? Is it was it an important keyword last month? Is it still an important keyword this month and the month after and the month after that? What's it telling? It's telling you conversions. Is it telling you, you know, what customers are doing on your website? So, look to to be. The, the, I like to balance the reporting with what we do each month, what they can do, what the developers can do, forecasting, a bit of analytics, because analytics is important, benchmarking, because you have to think, there's so much in analytics, what exactly do you really want to show the client? Show them what's relevant to them. Right? We also do every month, uh, which is, I guess a lot of agencies do it as well, we also we try to, to, to include um, you know, tracking from the year before, the year before that, and to ensure that it's growth year on year on year. Um, it keeps the big picture. So if you have a few bad months here and there, you can see the big picture is obviously growth year on year. Um, and so, you know, it's important that you do show that sort of uh, reporting as well. So it's, it's if by default, here's what I recommend for clients and, 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 and agencies. Have a mixture of both as the default, okay? Explain the work that you've done, you know, um, go into detail. You don't have to obviously go into exuberant amount of detail, but go into detail, explain what you've did, why, how does it benchmark against the results, show the analytics, show your ranking report, and show how, what does that actually mean against reaching the long-term goals. Then clients may say, well, you know, we, we wanna see more of this, we wanna see more of that. Then you can, you can sort of uh, balance it out as the agency. But as a client, you need to know what's happening on the website. You need to know what's happening off the website, what links are getting built, um, where they're getting built from. You know, the way our best link building tactic, our best link building tactic is building a site that would eventually attract it by itself through a great content model, a great content strategy that will generate the great high quality links on their own, and any strategies that we can do to sort of help push that along further and get great links further with just a bit of uh, communication, a bit of sales, a bit of, you know, you know you've know, you seen this article that we've produced, blah, blah, blah. 
all this sort of stuff is, is, is all great, but this, but understanding, you know, as from a client perspective, you're building these links, what does this mean against, um, like, what are, they, what are these links going to do? Do they make sense for, for them, for these websites to link to us? And, you know, you have to apply some, as a, as a client, you've got to also look at the, because if you get bad links, like, linking to you, it can be something that your website gets banned or penalised. And so you, when looking at the links getting built each month, it doesn't make sense. Look, I'll be honest with you. I've had clients where three to five, six months, and we've gone through astronomical growth. Heck, there's been a client that we've, one of our biggest and most prized case studies, we spent a whole year, because it was a lot of technical problems. This site was massive, massive, I tell you. It was the size of the Grand Canyon. It was massive. We didn't even have enough time to deal with the off-page profile. We had to solve the foundation. Now, of course, we'll do a link here and a link there and you know, build this, build this link. But what we have found in that, this is one particular client, and, I, and, I, and look, I'm all for link building. Like, link building is, 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 is smart from the perspective of building partnerships, as I talk about. You know, the best links don't just generate, uh, improve your rankings, and they don't even just generate increased amount of traffic to your website. They increase sales, bottom line. That's the best link, so I'm not against it. But this particular client in the first two years needed primarily technical work, right? The first year, 100%. Second year, we did we mixed, started mixing up, adding more link building, more content marketing. But this site went through, it was such a pothole of mess, right? Everything it could have done wrong, it was doing wrong, you know? There was just huge amounts of crawling errors. And to a large extent, We've moved, we're building a new website to get out of just so many problems that have been so hard to solve. Even though we've solved a large chunk of technical problems, we've solved them and we've improved the foundation, but, and the traffic has grown huge exponentially. And the links, because we have boosted up the visibility, a lot of links, because we're the dominant force in the market now, a lot of the links come naturally. And that's the sort of best, because when, you, when you're the thought leader, when you're the focus in the market, when you're the, the business and the company that everyone looks toward, then you once you build that model, a lot of links start coming naturally. And you want to have a clients, you really want to start, even the best link builders in the world, they would eventually want their clients to be able to produce, uh, to become such a thought leader in an industry that a lot of links can happen naturally. When you when you start dealing with with companies in very very competitive niches like the insurance industry and, and when you want to start breaking into those big agencies, you have to remember you're building links. Some of the best companies on 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 Google attracting thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands of links naturally. Never mind the ones that are SEO agency are building naturally getting built. So it's very hard to compete with those no matter how strong you building your links are. And when you want to build links, you want to keep the focus in what does this make sense to the people that are reading the content. You know, the best link is going to send is going to, that is going to build trust and credibility and drive sales for the business. Even if it doesn't even necessarily drive um, uh, traffic, but it drives sales. Sorry, I just had a mind blank. Um, I, one of the other, one of the clients that now they're not clients. If you know, personal friends, Glamorgan Cats. They're not a client. You know, they're just they're just fantastic human beings. Um, we've done no. We've done. We're just only. Would I did back in the day just some website work. I've done no marketing for them. But when I checked their analytics. Their whole business survives on referral traffic. Their whole business. Now, they've got a lot of offline staff and people know who they are. They breed cats and things like this, specific type. And they go to cat shows, the cat wins every year. They've got, they're an established business. But from an online point of view, they survive on links, purely. 
not just for their rankings, forget that, they survive on the referral traffic because other cat breeding websites are just sending them floods of just traffic to the site. And I told them, here's your best five sites that are sending you the most amount of traffic. Take these guys out, buy them a coffee, send them a present, send them some donuts, send them a dessert box. Like, do what you gotta do, keep these guys on your side because going forward, they're gonna be instrumental, instrumental in keeping this steady flow and as Google's algorithms advance and they see, you know what, it shouldn't just be only about the best links. It should be the links that are actually, they, you know, I can picture eventually that the search engines have to start looking at the links, not from how authoritative that website is, but the user experience. If you're just sending link, like you're building these links on, even if the website's relevant, even if it's relevant, and it's building links to these pages, but the people are back bouncing out. That's going to devalue that link, as opposed to a link from a link from a website that isn't as authoritative. But every time people go to that website, they're browsing more pages. They're browsing more pages. They're browsing more pages. That's a better user experience. So eventually, more deeper analysis has to take place. This is not just a standard link to link relationship. So the and you know what, even if Google doesn't do it, it still makes sense from a business point of view. But if you do it, then Google's trying to catch up with, with you, with user behavior. So it just it just makes sense. So I'm not anti I love links, right? They're fantastic. But different clients need different things. And the point of this, to round it all back up again, the point of this is for clients to be educated through reporting through transparent work that is detailed, that is explained to them, that brings it back to the goals of the campaign. And I think that will end today's show. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a wonderful day.